Kukuta wa kwenu pamwe oni Wachi la pili Yawe These tears explains the 18 years of suffering she has gone through due to a health condition, a situation that grabbed away her normal life. Karo Nambela, a gospel artist famously known for a change my level gospel song, Naipela, where she featured Philemon and Lisa Mupige, in which she was featured by Kabova, has for the last 18 years been living with a spinal problem. A condition which she explains started in 2002 when she was pregnant with her firstborn child, only worsened in 2018 to a point where she could no longer wake and walking was a challenge. I, this problem started in uh, 2002. By then I was pregnant and um, I used to feel pains in my left leg. So I thought it was a normal thing listening to what people would say, no, maybe mwana and things like that. But it kept on going worse and worse until it almost made me become like I'm disabled because I couldn't walk straight. I was bending and walking, so I had to seek for help at the hospital. So I decided to say, okay, let me just try to ask online, maybe from other doctors outside there. My husband managed to get an Indian doctor he talked to him on phone and then they exchanged numbers on uh, of the WhatsApp numbers because he asked for the MRI results, the blood results and everything of which we had to send to him and then he actually said from what I am seeing she could be suffering from spondylitis, something like that, you know. This mother of two and a teacher by profession narrates to Kamne TV how her life has changed during this period. At some point, I even said, okay, I'm giving up on the hospital because they are trying their level best, but it's like, I'm not getting what I need. So I stayed home again, but somewhere in 2018, it was really bad to the extent that I couldn't uh, do most of the things, depending on how the pain is. But there are times I just try to force myself to do all those things. But on the home chores, cooking, I try to cook. Sweeping, even as little as this house can be, but it takes me time to finish it. Washing, I don't. Normally, there's my neighbor there, she normally asks me to, to give her the clothes, then she washes for me. Despite a critical condition that needs urgent attention, this did not stop her from having a concert to raise money for her treatment. Even with effort from other gospel musicians coming on board to source for some funds so that she can be sent to India for medical treatment, not enough has been raised as only 25,000 kwacha has been raised out of 180,000 kwacha, the total amount needed to save her life. She has since appealed to President Etika Lungu to come to her aid. I still have a long way to reach the 180,000. And from the last concert that I had, um, that was last week on Friday, yeah, the turnout was not so good. So Karen thought uh, it wise to say, okay, I think we tr we're stressing you to let you do this on your own. We have to come in as artists and help you. Mm -hmm. What would you like the government to do for you? If they can help me to, to fund the treatment to India, I think it can really help me a lot because it's quite a huge amount of money and not just a single person can really just get that money out of their pocket. So if the government can come in to help, I would really be grateful, very, very grateful. Nambila lives with a hope for a change. Miriam Kemba, reporting for Kamne TV News in Lusaka.